Retirement planning today can go one of two ways. It can be daunting and overwhelming, or it can be exciting and give you a newfound sense of adventure. Hi, my name is Eric Carney, President and Senior Investment Advisor of Retirement Wealth. With planning for a long-term retirement today, with everyone's unique goals and objectives, you need a long-term written strategy that's gonna be built custom for you. So with today's world, you've got market volatility, interest rate changes, inflationary issues, and world events going on all the time. So you want to make sure that you find someone that you can trust who has a fiduciary responsibility, is an independent advisor that's always looking out for you. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's begin Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney, Southwest Florida's Retirement Television. He's an author, a radio host, a fiduciary, and Southwest Florida's premier investment advisor. Here's Senior Investment Advisor Eric Carney. And here we are again, this time in Eric Carney's kitchen. Imagine this. You and your spouse, say 50 something year old, and you're sitting across from your financial planner. You're trying to decide, well, the last day I walk out of the office, what's it gonna be like? What are you expecting? All of a sudden it becomes an, an episode of Green Acres. She wants the city, he wants the farm. Eric, have you had this happen before to you? Oh yeah, Wendy. So a lot of times when somebody comes in and they say, Eric, now we're really serious about our retirement. We want to sit down. We really want to get a good direction, but we have different ideas. That's okay, Wendy, because a lot of times we're always not going to be on the same page. But the biggest thing is, is what we really want to try to create through the financial plan is sustainability and how can we actually meet each one of each other's goals and objectives mm -hmm. and have them be happy all throughout life. So that is something that we're always considering into the financial plan. Is it difficult because I'm sure maybe the wife wants to spend a little more money, maybe the husband does. Um, you have to get them together on a budget. How do you do that? Yeah, so nobody likes to fill out a budget, including myself. <laughs> but since we all have a great lifestyle down here, you know, we have beautiful beaches, pools, we can go boating, we can go golfing, play pickleball. There's so many beautiful things that we can do about Florida. The first thing that I ask someone is, what would happen if you lost this lifestyle? And that's the one thing that they say, no, Eric, we don't want to lose that. So that's where we really have to get them on board with a lifestyle expense form. We want to understand how much their life actually costs on an annual basis, and we can show them how they can actually afford it. And so again, we want to understand how much they're spending on a monthly basis and then figure that out. So that is really the basis of any financial plan. When you talk about their lifestyle, say they're down here they really like it here but maybe the wife or the husband wants to move back north so they can be closer to grandchildren how do you help them make that plan yeah so that is also included in the financial plan there's a lot of times where we come from the midwest or the northeast and we also spend a lot of time down here a lot of people come down here because you get a lot of tax ad advantages living down here no state tax and, and several other things but the thing is, is that once grandchildren come along, that kind of changes everything. And there's a lot more of a pull to be closer to where the children are. So sometimes it's not a matter of, you know, staying here or going back there, but having the ability to be able to go back. So financially, we want to make sure that if they want to go back in the winter months or the summer months, mm -hmm. they're able to do that. And we want to factor that in too. It's all about, again, lifestyle planning that you're putting in and doing panoramic financial planning so that everyone understands what their life looks like and how we're going to be able to afford that. That's good to know. Also, people are different ages when they're married. You might not be the same age as your spouse. So right. one might be taking Social Security before the other one does. Do you make a plan for that as well? Yeah, of course. So there's a lot of times where maybe it's a second or even a third marriage and there's an age gap in that marriage. And what happens is, is that if one person goes to retire, sometimes that person wants their spouse to retire with them. 
Sometimes they want them to continue to work. So again, each couple is really different on how they want to do that, and we have to plan for each individual. There's no cookie cutter financial plans out there, Wendy. I mean, everyone that comes in has completely different situations. That's actually what keeps our job, job challenging from time to time. So we want to make sure that we're planning for that age gap and um, including any strategies that we can in there for them. What about one spouse wants to take bigger risks in retirement than the other one? How do you rein one in or maybe not <laughs> rein them in and help them get on the same page? So that is a big deal. And that's something that we have to have a conversation about. You know, investors' needs do not remain static. And what that means is that everything is changing over time. Mm -hmm. So even if you have an uber aggressive investor, over time they are eventually gonna calm down and they don't want that um, aggressiveness anymore. But again, it's all about having a conversation. And a lot of times what you're doing is, is that you're sitting in there, not necessarily being a referee because that's mm -hmm. a horrible term, mm -hmm. but basically it's a negotiation it's a financial negotiation. No, nobody wants to lose in retirement. Everyone wants to have a very successful retirement. So having that conversation, putting that plan together really does make an overall difference. And I will tell you this, there's a lot of times where a couple will come in and they're on completely separate pages. Mm -hmm. After completing the M5 formula and creating that financial plan and that income plan, what it's doing is it's a lot of times bringing people onto that same page. And they're actually walking out of there and they're actually in more of an agreeance of their financial situation. So it's actually really uplifting to see that happen. Great information today again, Eric. If you're watching and anything seems relevant to you, please visit our website or give Eric and his team a call at 1-800-779-1942. That's 1-800-779-1942. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. What does your retirement look like? Is it filled with travel, spending time with family, uninterrupted rounds at the golf course, or are you too worried to even think about your hopes and dreams? Questions about your retirement are normal. So come into our office, sit down with us, and let us help you find those answers. Eric and his team can answer your questions with a complimentary review of your retirement and income plan, and it all starts with getting to know you. We specialize in helping people just like you prepare for the retirement that they've always dreamed of. They'll do exactly that by going over your current strategy to expose the weaknesses that may exist in your retirement portfolio. Plus, they'll explain potential risks and possible strategies to you in easy to understand terms and help get you reacquainted with your portfolio and income strategy. What I enjoy most about retirement planning is sitting down with you and having real conversations about your retirement dreams and goals. Once they understand your retirement goals, objectives, and dreams, they'll work to custom build a retirement plan to help ensure that you cannot outlive your income in retirement. Retirement doesn't have to be scary. Let us help you retire confidently. Because every dream needs a plan. Call Eric today and schedule your visit. You only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. And we're back. Thanks for joining us with Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. Eric, so often on this show, we talk about different situations that affect different people in different ways yeah. and try to give them an answer to how they can fix it. And a lot of times that just depends upon the situation. Mm -hmm. But actually in retirement, there are some universal truths that affect retirees and pre-retirees across the board. Right. Would you agree? Absolutely, Wendy. Mm -hmm. The first thing that I think affects pre-retirees and retirees is that everybody needs an income plan. Yeah. One of the interesting things is, is that a lot of people come in and they're like, honestly, Eric, I just need to do them about my investments. The investments, Wendy, are one third of that mm -hmm. complete financial plan because the whole thing is, is that people value progression over perfection. And if all of a sudden we build the most perfect portfolio, it's only going to last for three months. You've got interest rates changing, inflationary risk changing. Mm -hmm. You've got a lot of market risk. 
And so that portfolio is gonna change over time. Your money and your investments is gonna change over time. What has to change with that is making sure that you're getting your income going forward. So while most people focus on their investments, we're actually focusing on the income. I've gotta provide you income for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And so everyone that comes in has to have an income plan. I know that I can go back to work at 60. Even if I retire from my full-time job, I can go to Publix and pack groceries for a little while, right? right? Stock shelves, I can go to a golf course, I can wash boats, mm -hmm. do something for fun. But all of a sudden, as we get into our 70s and 80s, we realize then we don't want to go back to work. And so we've also defined who we are financially. So that income plan is showing you with inflationary risk, income gaps, market risk, everything like that, is your money still gonna be available? Are your investments still doing what they need to do? So again, it really comes down to investments are one third, the financial planning is one third, and also that income plan is really the other third that is really critical. Everyone needs an income plan. Yes, good to know. And I totally understand, I'm sure our viewers do too. Who wants to go back to work at 70 or 80? Right. How difficult would that be? People that are working at that age, Wendy, are either working out of desperation mm -hmm. or inspiration. We want to make sure that if you are working in retirement, it's out of inspiration. You still want to be challenged. You feel still feel like mm -hmm. you have something to give back but you can also get that out of volunteering or doing something socially as well. So there's a lot of times where people wanna learn a new sport, mm -hmm. but a lot of times you don't wanna feel like you have to go back to work. Right. And that's really what the income plan is gonna define. Yeah. Also, another thing people need is they need a plan for long-term health care. Yeah, so we say this an awful lot of times and we all know that we have to save up for that. But what's happening a lot of times is something different other than saving for long-term care. Sometimes if all of a sudden, and this happens to a lot of females, Wendy, is if they now have to take care of an elderly parent, sometimes they're actually leaving the workforce. Mm -hmm. And they just showed a report that that could cost an average of $304,000 in earned income because they've left the workplace to take care of an elderly parent. What happens then, Wendy, is since they don't have that added retirement savings, mm -hmm. once that elderly parent passes away, they often find that the caretaker is now in living in a poverty level because they just haven't saved up enough. So again, long-term care issues are important, mm -hmm. but also making sure that that long-term care caretaker is also taking care of themselves as well. So that's critical that we're looking at all angles of retirement from different people's perspectives. Good point. I know none of us can, can, can consistently time out what the stock market's going to do. And, when, and, and it's a big part of when you're retiring, you're investing right. your money. How do you help people with that? And that's a great question, Wendy, because there's a lot of times people come in and they're like, Eric, when's the recession happening? I have no idea, right? And global economists across the world have no idea. By the time we're actually in a recession, Wendy, we realize it's a recession. It's not something that you actually see ha something happening. Mm -hmm. In the financial planning process through the M5 formula, what we're doing is, is creating a financial plan. We're actually making sure that you're taking advantage of the three guarantees that the stock market offers. We guarantee that the stock market's gonna go up. We guarantee that the stock market's gonna go sideways. We also guarantee that the stock market's gonna go down. And we actually have a plan for that. That's where we actually factor in many different accounts all throughout your portfolio. If all of a sudden the market falls, we can turn off different accounts, turn on other accounts. And we're making sure that you have longevity and sustainability and making sure that we're getting through any financial hurdle that's actually handled to us. So again, we wanna create that M5 formula strategy and make sure that you get through any kind of thing that happens. And we have to plan for all the what ifs that come through with a long retirement. You talk about a what if, and you talk about longevity. Yeah. A big what if is none of us know how long we're gonna live. Right. How do you plan for that? When someone comes in and say they're gonna retire and they're 65, and you think you know, they could 
conceivably live another 30, 35 years. That's right, Wendy. So we always ask, what is your longevity like in your family? What is your health like? What is your lifestyle like? And there's a lot of times where we retire, Wendy, and we are working out more. We're walking more. We're watching what we're eating. We're walking on the beach a lot more. So there's a lot of times where we're more lifestyle health conscious mm -hmm. now than ever before. So a lot of times we are going to be living into our 90s and a lot of people are still living into their late 90s. My friend's grandfather is 101 years old and he was walking out the other day because his light bulb was out and his outdoor light. So Brian went out there to assist him and he goes, I'll get this, 101 years old. And so Brian took a picture of him actually changing the light bulb. We also had Mary up in your area of Virginia, 104 years old, went to a local baseball game and they allowed her to throw out the first ball. So you've got people that are living into their late 90s who never expected to live that long. And the thing is, Wendy, from my fiduciary responsibility, I still have to provide them with income. And so the thing is, is that we want to plan for a long life and make sure that you have plenty of income for that as well. We've talked about cash in the past mm -hmm. and how money sitting in cash is not real. It, it's nice to have cash, right. but that money is not keeping up with inflation. And I know a lot of people, sometimes older people especially, they think I've got this cash, they want to shove it under their mattress or dig a hole in the backyard. Right. How do you talk them into saying, hey, we've got to do something with that cash so it's going to make you more money for when you retire? Yeah, so the thing is with money, Wendy, is there's always risk tied to it. Mm -hmm. So any kind of money that you have, there's, there's a risk associated with that. And what our job is, is that we have to point out what risks are involved. When you have cash or CDs, you have to remember that you've got a lot of inflationary interest. And again, that inflation actually creeps in and over time you end up having a very large income gap. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people say, I can't afford the things that I used to be able to. And it's a lot of times because inflation has crept in and has really wreaked havoc with that portfolio. In the income plan, the one nice thing that I like about Donna is we actually factor in an income guide and it's showing that client how quickly inflation is actually kicking mm -hmm. in. Now, we run it at 3% inflation, but I'll tell you what, there's some people that actually want to reduce it down to 2.5%. There's not really a big difference, Wendy. Mm. And so whether inflation is at 2%, 2 2.5%, or 3%, it's still going to grow significantly over time, and you really have to be prepared for that. Eric, I always learn so much when we sit down and do the show. If you've been watching today and you've learned a lot as well, but would really like to pursue talking with Eric more in depth, please give Eric and his team a call at 1-800-779-1942 or visit us on the website. We'd like to get a conversation started with you, so please don't hesitate to call. Do you have questions about your retirement? Do you need a second opinion? Do you have a clear-cut income or financial plan? At Retirement Wealth Advisors, Eric Carney and his dedicated team are committed to your financial success. As an independent fiduciary advisor, law and license require that they put your best interest first. Don't hesitate to plan for your retirement and financial future for one more minute. Visit our website or give Eric and his team a call at 1-800-779-1942. That's 1-800-779-1942. You'll get the second opinion that you need and the peace of mind that you deserve. You know, you only retire once. Let's get it right the first time. a fun segment planned for today. It's a little different than our normal retirement talk. We're here with Eric's personal trainer, Michael. Hey, Michael, welcome to the show. How are you doing today, Wendy? I'm doing good. Must be a lot of work training, Eric, huh? It's a, it's a <laughs> job within itself. <laughs> well, what, what, what makes someone want to work with a personal trainer? And what do you bring to the table when they come to you and say, hey, can you help me out? Okay, well, that is a great question. One, um, I like to use the term sunscreen. Okay. Uh, we're the sunscreen. Right now, you don't really want to use it, but it's the preventative for later. Um, sunscreen isn't a now thing, it's a later thing. So personal training is very much the same. Um, you do it now 
to prevent injuries and things later. Oh, that's good to know. So when someone comes to you and they say, Michael, I, I, need, I need work on this or I need work on that, do you sit down with them and you know, take their health, health into consideration and maybe past injuries and that sort of thing in order to make a good plan for them? Absolutely. So you have to treat people as an individual. So no one is the same as the next. So your personal history, uh, your preference in Simple things as you like to go dancing mm -hmm. are very important to me because then I'm going to build your training around that. Okay, good. So is there a difference when you train a woman or a man? And do you typically see more women coming in to be trained or men? Okay, so as with men, you're always going to deal with ego. <laughs> so it's hard for a man to really ask for help. Mm -hmm. As for a woman, um, it's easier to train women because their ability to adapt to things. Mm -hmm. So I find more success with training women and I think of training men more as a challenge. Okay. Do, at what age do you notice more people come to you and want to be trained? Are, are you getting 20 year old or are you getting like people closer to retirement? What, what do you think is your biggest age range of people that you train? So my biggest uh, age range right now is between I'd say 40 and 70. Oh, okay. I think maybe at this time you're able to slow down a little bit and take back your life. So I'm in there, I'm motivating them, I'm pushing them to the next level. So those things are, are, are very important. And when people come to me, I treat it serious because health is wealth these days. So one without the other doesn't exist. That is for sure. And do um, here in Florida, we do have a big population of people who are retired. We do. Are you finding that when people come to you, they've been a little more interested in um, physical activity and taking care of their health? Or are you finding that they're coming to you for the first time in order to get themselves into shape? Realistically, it's 50-50. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I have clients that have um, been working out their entire lives, but they're missing the spark. Mm. I am that spark for a lot of people. Another time you get someone that is brand new and you have to kind of build them from the bottom up, which is the beauty in it. So when you're starting from the beginning, you get to see that, that flower blossom, you know, mm -hmm. and they get to see it at the same time. They get to reinvent themselves. Mm -hmm. So you provide them with a lot of motivation to reach their goals. I do. And, you know, so... Being a motivation for someone that has been someone else's motivation is a full-time job. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. Probably is a full-time job with Eric, right? Definitely with <laughs> Eric. <laughs> is he tough to train? I, I don't know. I think it's easier to probably mow the lawn in the snow. <laughs> Well, Eric is a very motivated person. I'm sure he gives it 100%, just like he gives 100% to all of his clients here at Retirement Well. Absolutely. So he gives about 200%, so I have to have him dial it down so he can survive to help them the next day. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. My and pleasure. keep training Eric so he can keep giving people good advice. Absolutely. Thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. Strive for excellence. Your health deserves it. Eric, we're back with our favorite part of the show. Are you ready for some questions from our viewers? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. The first one's from George in Fort Myers Beach. George says, I have to start taking my required minimum distributions this year, and I have three different IRAs. Mm. Should I take some money from each account or take it all from one? Uh, so, Wendy, I think one of the biggest things that we see issues with is required minimum distributions. And a lot of times when people have multiple IRAs, we've got to factor in the amount of them. And then there actually is a life expectancy table that we use and the calculation mm -hmm. to figure out those required minimum distributions every year. The one thing that you want to be careful about out there is the one famous phone call that I get is age 72. And if somebody calls me up and they say, hey, Eric, I'm 72, I pretty much know what's coming. They're basically, they've been so conservative in their portfolio for so long that now that they have to pull out their required minimum distributions, they're actually seeing a decumulation or a devalue of their portfolio. And so what we want to do is you want to make sure that you are pulling out from all three accounts the correct amount of required minimum distributions, but also creating sustainability so that when you pull out your required minimum distributions, you're also able to 
uh, refurbish that or, or build that portfolio back up with a solid rate of return. So required minimum distributions, that's a, a great subject that we get into. George, I hope that helped you with your question. If, you, if you'd like to sit down with Eric and maybe work out a new retirement plan or maybe just need a second opinion, please visit our website or give our office a call at 1-800-779-1942. Our next question is from Paul in Naples. Mm. Paul says, is there a good rule of thumb for how much of my IRA should be invested in safe investments at age 60, or is it just a matter of personal preference? Oh. Great question, it's not just a matter of preference. It's actually a matter of what your actual needs are. And I'll tell you, Wendy, there's a lot of times where we have to have people come in, go over exactly what you're trying to accomplish, what do you want your life to look like, and how are we going to pay for it? And a lot of times I'll ask someone, if you get through your long retirement and you've done a very successful job, do you really care for what you invested in? Mm -hmm. More than likely not. People want to reduce their taxes. They want to reduce their market exposure. They want to make sure that they're keeping in, uh, uh, in pace with inflation. Mm -hmm. So the bit, bottom line is that through doing the financial plan, that's really going to show them what they have to be invested in. And I'll tell you, once again, I, I say this all the time, but once you answer all those questions, it's really going to funnel down to actually what your needs are. And that's really what we're looking for. Okay. Great question, Paul. Next question is from Jan in Venice. She says, I've heard of fixed annuities and I've heard you mention fixed indexed annuities. Are they essentially the same thing? Mm. I'm 63 and looking to retire in two years and I'm wondering if either would be right for me. Okay, so annuities. I mean, these are get to be a very confusing question. They're very complex. There's so many different ones out there. The bottom line is that there's actually a huge difference between fixed and fixed indexed annuities. With a fixed annuity, you're getting a fixed rate of return over time. The thing that you've got to be careful with these products is a lot of times they do not outpace inflation and they're not going to give you future growth. With a fixed indexed annuity, we always suggest purchasing something with 0% in fees, something that gives you upside potential and zero downside uh, potential. The nice thing about that is it's actually tied to an index, maybe like the S&P 500, and you'll have upside growth over time. Again, a lot of these people are, are going into their products with still a lot of questions after they've purchased them. So what we've said on the show plenty of times is, were you sold a product or were you provided with a solution? So anytime that we do a financial plan, again, that's gonna actually come down to what product is appropriate for you. And so I would always suggest that you get a full-blown financial plan written first before you make any investment decisions. Okay. Eric, thanks for answering all of our viewers' questions. Sure. Why don't you all send your questions in to us and maybe you'll, we'll get them on the air next week. If you have any questions for Eric and would like to sit down with he and his team, please give our office a call at 1-800-779-1942 and let's get that conversation started. Thank you so much for watching today. If you've seen anything that you like or you have any questions or you wanna get your very own M5 formula, please visit our website or give us a call today. We'd love to start a conversation. You know, you only retire at once. Let's get it right the first time. Have a great day and an even better retirement.